Hi, this is Milana Lyshinsky and welcome to What Language Do You Speak? <laughs> How to talk about your products and services so that people buy. You know, as I work with a lot of coaches, authors and speakers in the JV Insider Circle, uh, especially during the time of working on the products and programs, I realized that um, all the products are amazing. All the services and experts are phenomenal. And I can see how your clients will experience a transformation. People need your help and they need your expertise. And once they begin working with you, they'll be uh, really successful in whatever goal that they set for themselves. But unless you communicate it in a way that makes people want your products and programs, many people will simply walk by and never even realize that you have this amazing transformation to offer them. And so that is the reason I decided to create this little quick uh, video and just uh, share a, a different way of thinking about what you offer and how you talk about it. We always say uh, that you need to sell them what they want and then give them what they need. But what does it really mean? Sell them what they want, give them what they need. How does it look like in practice? How do you talk about um, what, whatever it is you are offering in a way that people understand it? Because as Thomas Edison said, opportunity is missed by most people because it is dressed in overalls and looks like work. And I think that is the biggest challenges for us as coaches and experts and transformation um, leaders, transformational leaders, to really make people see what's in it for them, what is it that they want, and talk the language um, that will allow them to get excited about the possibility of transformation. So I wanted to bring you into this little exercise and share with you that I actually um, discovered this way of thinking from my own coach and I thought that was brilliant. I've never seen it um, communicated this way before. But do you re realize that when you talk to your clients or potential clients, they're actually two rooms that uh, you are in or, or that your potential client is in. There's a marketing room and there's a transformation room. When they are in the marketing room with you, they are a little skeptical. They're kind of listening and watching, trying to learn about it, and they're coming up with all kinds of reasons why your product, program, or service is not for them, why it wouldn't work. So they are in that mode of being a little skeptical and they haven't made a decision yet to, to proceed with you. So they are in the mode of thinking about it. And then once they made a decision to work with you, they're now in the transformation room. They are ready. They will do whatever it takes now because they've committed to the process. So what I find is that many coaches, authors, speakers, experts, transformational leaders, talk to potential clients as if they are already in the transformation room. But if they're still in the marketing room, they are not hearing you, or at least they are probably just dismissing everything you're saying. So what do you say when somebody already committed to the process and they are in the transformation room? Well, you can teach them the mindset, you can share the process with them, you can introduce the jargon that you're using in your system, you can give them the steps, you can talk to them about the features of your products uh, and programs, you can give them lessons that they need to complete, and they will do it because they just invested into your program or into working with you. So they are already in the transformation room. But when they are just in the marketing room, before they made a commitment to themselves and to you and to the process, they need to hear things like pain points, benefits, results, outcomes, desires, dreams. This is the language that they need to hear. And this is the language that you need to be using with somebody who is still in the marketing room, so to speak. And what I find is that a lot of uh, people will start coaching somebody or sharing their process a little too early before somebody commits to it, before they enter the transformation room. 
So this is just a different way to look at that. And what I invite you to do is you are working on your programs and your titles and your niche statements. Think about this way of seeing your uh, client or potential client. And you know, most people are really good at working with their clients once they get them and their clients love them. But how do you get them? You need to focus on their pain points. You need to introduce them to the benefits. You need to share with them the possibilities and the results and the outcomes. You need to speak into their desires and dreams. And imagine if somebody is in the marketing room and you start talking to them about the process of how you work with somebody or the lessons they're going to have to work through uh, or the jargon, the, the language that you use with your clients. Um, it's just not going to land yet. It's too early. So hopefully this is helpful and I really hope that you take this into consideration and do a quick reality check. Look at your titles, look at your niche statement, look at your elevator sp speech and see if you are talking to people as if they are in the marketing room or if they are uh, as if they are in a transformation room. And I think that will make a big difference for you.